Hey everyone, Itai Manero here and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a cool effect like this to your photos and artworks using Procreate, Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint or any other art software of your choice. So let's jump right into it. In order to achieve this, I'm going to be using my Super Screen Tone set. You can find it along with a free sample for you to try out on my Gumroad page through the link in the description below. As I said in the intro, this set is not only compatible with Procreate, but also with Photoshop or any other art program with a layer system and blending modes. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using Procreate, but know that the method is basically the same no matter the program you're using. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using this cool photo by Good Faces. To achieve the effect you saw at the beginning of this video, we need to set a few layers, always on top of our photo or artwork. First I'm going to import the paper texture that is included with this set. Making sure that Magnetics is on in the Transform tool I click on Fit to Canvas to make sure that the paper texture covers the whole area. Then I set this layer to Multiply mode. It's always a good thing to name your layers. For the second layer, just below the paper texture, I'm going to import the printed ink texture that's also included with this set. Again I make sure to make it fit the whole canvas, and I set this layer to lighter color mode. This will make the black parts in our image look like it is ink that has been printed on paper. I create another layer below this one, and with a 50% of gray, and making sure that the saturation slider is set to zero, I fill in the whole layer. Then I set this layer to hard mix mode. I'm going to name this layer Hardness Filter. On another new layer below, I pick a pure black and use Color Fill. Then I set this layer to Color Mode. This will make our image look like it is grayscale. I call this layer Grayscale Filter. And finally, I create a new layer between the Hardness Filter layer and the Grayscale Filter layer, and this is where I'm going to be importing any of the 32 screen tone textures included with this set. I need to set this layer to hard mix mode. And you can instantly see the amazing way this conjunction of non-destructive layers is affecting the photo. There are a few things I can do to modify the way this screen tone is affecting my image. For example, I can play with the opacity slider in the screen tone layer to control how much of the screen tone is mixing with the photo. I can also duplicate the photo to always keep an original backup and then play with the curves tool until I get exactly the effect that I'm looking for. The cool thing is that once you have all this set, you can easily try with different screen tone textures to quickly achieve different effects. or import a different picture at any moment and see how it looks under the super screen tones. You can always play with the different tools and options to modify the way these textures work. Of course these super special screen tones not only work with photos, but also with any artwork. They can be especially useful for working in comics. You can see how I'm able to turn this comic book cover into a screen tone version in a second, without losing the original information in any moment. And of course it's super fun to try with different textures as well. I really hope you found this special tool interesting and that you give it a go. If you use my tools or my Procreate brushes and post your art on social media, feel free to use the hashtag Manero brushes so that I can see what you create. I will be extremely happy to share your creations with my audience. Don't forget to subscribe for more art related videos and give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out my Gumroad page, where you will find this super screen tone set and many other sets that I have available. I'm sure something will suit your artistic needs. All the links are in the description below. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.